on and off the field. Bless us as spectators uh, to be an example in our conversation and our conduct. And, God, we pray for the other team, the team of officials, that you would direct them, guide, and lead them as they be alert and attentive to everything that happened on the field. Bless us this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's check in for the first time on this Saturday afternoon with Cedric Tillman. Cedric, not quite as warm as we say good evening to you down the field. Good evening, Charles. It is 91 degrees, but the sun is coming down.
Back knee for the brave. One Adams on side, double. Started last week. Kicking for the double, double shooter. Saturday night. Here is the kick. A strong side right, and it went right through the hands of Burke. Yeah. Picked it up at the two yard line, wow. plowing forward, and dumped at the five. We didn't need that. I think he might have lost it in the sun. Now you know, Tyler Braves have a first and ten. Did all four. So first down at the four-yard line is where the Braves will get it. This Valley defense first may keep it after you. First down and 10 for the Braves. Felix Harper getting the start for the Braves here in this game. The Braves from right to left in the purple uniform, purple helmets. First down and 10 for the Braves. No Waller either in this game. Nico Duffy in the backfield. 
on first down and 10. And on first down here is Duffy bounces to the outside. Dropped at the seven yard line, a gain of three. Second and seven for the Braves here at the start of this game. Already one final in Jackson State, lost to Kentucky State. High scoring game, Grambling and Prairie View. We'll be updating you on that one as we roll along. Second down and seven for the Braves at the seven yard line in the scoreless game. On second down, here's a pass, a quick hitter, and it's a catch, and it's a first down. First down to Pringle. We had 148 yards in receptions last week. And Pringle gives the Braves the first down at the 23, a gain of 16. Here's Pringle again on the edge to the 25. Pringle upended at the 28-yard line, a gain of five. So second down and five. Second down and five for the Braves. As they scan here, slowing this thing down just a bit. Here in this scoreless game, just underway, a minute 17 into this first quarter. Play clock at 16. Second down and six for the Braves. Pringle, motion left to right. Harper looks, throws over the middle, and it's caught and dropped right over the middle, sandwiched to Tim McNair Jr. So a minute and a half in, third down coming up. Third down. Third down and five. Cedric Tillman, third and five coming up, coming up for the Braves. Let's see what he do here. He's definitely had a wide open receiver across the middle there. He just dropped it. So uh, let's see what they come with this time. All right, third down and five for the Braves here. It's Valley defense, Stingy, three-step drop, check down, and this is a catch and another drop. And they call it a catch and a fumble. They rule it incomplete. Pass intended for Blair. Caught it, ball hit the ground. He says it's my fault. They call it an incomplete pass instead of a catch and a fumble, thankfully. And it's fourth down. A couple of drops, Cedric Bush, on the Braves' first possession. Yeah, and then normally, you know, with, with Tim McNair, you don't see that, you know, so uh, it's, it's interesting to find out what we're going to do because, like I say, he's putting the ball there. Your job is to catch it as a receiver. And it was right there. Fred McNair's talked about that. The plays have been there to be made. McCullough on to punt. The snap and the kick for McCullough. High kick, mile high. Fair catch call for it. It sails out of bounds. Maybe at the 19 or 18. They rule it at the 17. And that's where Valley will get it first down and 10 for the Delta Devils. So after picking up a first down, Clayton back for the Delta Devils on special teams. And this Valley team, first down and 10 to Jared Bryant, the senior quarterback from Mize, Mississippi. Getting the start for the Delta Devils. First and 10, the Braves pick up a first down and had to punt. We'll give you the Braves defense coming up here in a moment. As they take the field, and so does Valley. Up front for the Braves, Creole argue with Chris Hart, the tackle to Daryl Henderson and Chris Monroe. First and 10 from the 17-yard line. On first down on the end around, Bryant will keep it, and he is dragged down after a two-yard, to make it a three-yard pickup by Chris Monroe. Monroe with the tackle. The linebackers for the Braves, Mikhail Webb, Solomon Muhammad, and Rylan Hollis. On the edges, Javon Morrison and Kieran Kinsler. The safeties are Dalen Burks and Quinterio Cole. On second down, Bryant will keep it, and Bryant brought down. He ran right into the Braves to Corey and Wren. So third down and eight coming up. All right, Cedric Tillman, back to you on the Braves defensive side, third and eight. Yeah, stiffening him up on that Braves uh, defense uh, on the run and see if we can stop him here on the passing down. Cedric Tillman a little sniffly here, as you can tell. I guess it's sinus season. Third down and eight coming up. Empty backfield for Bryant. Five wide, three-step drop. Check down, catch, and short of the first down. As it was Clayton with the catch, tackled short of the first down by a couple. So it'll bring up fourth down and two in on the stop for the Braves. Cole, Quinterio Cole had a solid game last week. So Valley on third and short, forced to punt. Fourth down. Justin Reed on to punt the senior from Australia, averaging 36 yards per 
kick, number six in the league in punting. So both teams punting early here. We play three and a half minutes in the scoreless game. Reed standing at his 11 yard line. High snap brings it down and kicks it away. Almost blocked. Is it a fair catch call for? Yes, and it is. Hell on two, fair catch made by Juan Anthony. So 11.23 left. We'll take a break here. First and 10, the Braves and Valley scoreless. Second possession for Alcorn. Back in one minute on the Alcorn Football Radio Network. Darius Anderson, a first down catch to the 43-yard line. So, Darius Anderson missed last week's game. Good to see Darius Anderson back in action. Darius Anderson, third catch of the season. Pick up a one for Duffy, second down and eight. Well, the Braves have Waller out. Ray Turner is out in the backfield. Valley showing blitz on second down. Play action for Harper. Looks, throws, and wide open. Caught Blair to the 25, 24, 23, inside the 20, down to the 19. So Chris Blair, he dropped one earlier. Catch right there. His 13th reception of the year, and it's a first down for the Braves. He was sitting wide open on the edge. The Braves going fast here. Play action pass to Pringle. This is a catch to the 20-yard line, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, dodge to the pylon, and he gets in. Touchdown. Touchdown. 19 yards out. Good screen on this near side. Pringle, boy, he is stepping up big time. Pringle, second touchdown of the season, second catch of the game, and the Braves march right down the field, Cedric Tillman, on their second drive. Oh, that was nice. We caught them off guard by going fast, and they, they didn't see it coming. Pringle was uh, one, one-on-one out here with a blocking receiver in front of him, and he ran straight to the end zone. Braves with a, a lead of 6 to nothing. Cedric Bush, good to see that on the second drive. No doubt about it. Awesome block by the receiver to get to free Pringle up. And McCullough on for the point after, and it's good. 9.57 left here in the first quarter. Bray's second drive, their first touchdown of the game as they lead 7 to nothing here in the early going. We'll take a timeout here from Jack Spinks, Marino Castle Stadium. Braves with a 7 to nothing lead. We'll be back after this one-minute break. This is the all Court Football Radio Network. Braves with a 7 to nothing lead. It's going to be a touchback. Valley will get it at the 25. Wade and Latham back for the Delta Devils. And Valley with their second possession. Trying to establish a running game. 
They had 103 yards rushing versus Bethune-Cookman last week. Clayton as well as Barnett and John Derrick Smith who had 79 yards rushing against Bethune-Cookman will lead their backfield. Valley wants to get their running game going, and that's really the key for them. Speaking of John Derrick Smith, he's in the backfield. Out of the pistol formation on first down and 10 for this senior quarterback, Jarek Bryant. Bryant, play action, rolling to his right, throws low, incomplete. And they try to get it on the edge to Johnny Wilson, the 6'5 junior from Tylertown, Mississippi. Second down and, and 10. 9.51 left here in this first quarter. This is the last night game of Stay the out. year. The rest of the games are at 2 o'clock, including Alabama State next week. Mm. A rare all-corn Bama State in Montgomery in the daytime. And here's John Derrick Smith trying to cut it back up the field, trying to get the wide edge and couldn't. He lost the yard. Third Bell down and 11 coming up for the Delta Devils. Well, Valley trying to get their offense Bell going, Bell and it's been a struggle. Braves. Cedric Tillman, the Braves defense, doing a nice job early. Yeah, nice job. Yeah. That time they turned the ball uh, back inside, and the linebackers are uh, making in the hole. Uh, nice play for the Braves defense. Pretty over Grambling, 31-23 in the third quarter. Alabama A&M over Central State. Here's a pass, low incomplete, intended for Clayton. Incomplete pass brings up fourth, fourth down. down. And Jennifer Clayton. And Valley will punt. Back well, Valley just trying to find some sort of rhythm here. Cedric Bush, is it what the Braves are doing defensively or what Valley's not doing offensively? Well, I think Valley... I they're trying something, and, and they're not doing what they normally would do. Uh, if, if, if your quarterback is athletic, let, it, let him do what he does best, and that, that's, that's what I see with that. Reed on for a second punt, standing at his 10-yard line. Juan Anthony, who's banged up, back for the Braves. The snap and the kick, low kick. It's going to be returned from the 41-yard line straight up the middle. Anthony dropped at midfield, a nine-yard return. Nine o seven left. Rays have it at midfield. Southern UAPB just underway. Texas Southern Houston Baptist just underway. Kentucky State at the Circle City over Jackson State, 31, thir I'm sorry, 33, 25. Jackson State started fast but faded in that game. And uh, I know after a week off and scoring 49 against Tennessee State, I know the JSU faithful disappointed at what happened in Indy in this game. First and 10 for the Braves at midfield. Up 7 to nothing. the third possession of this first quarter. Felix Harper on the read, on the stretch play. Here's Duffy tripped up. Tripped up for a loss of a couple. Second down. Deontay Daniels, the junior from Noxapater, Mississippi. They give him no gain on the play. So second down. Well, mark it at the 49. No, they actually, the line of scrimmage was a 49. So no gain. Second down and 10. 7 0. The Braves with the lead. Duffy shifts to the right now. Back to the left to Felix Harper. Four, three receivers, two right, one left. Play action for Harper. Good pocket. Brushes to his left. Throws high. Caught. The flag down here, and Tim McNair Jr. with the catch, the tackle by Bloodsaw. Let's check the tackle. It might be uh, the penalty. It might be against the Braves. Looks like he went over the line. Ineligible receiver downfield, number 62 on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Be second down. Our referee is John Allman. First penalty of the game. The man downfield, so that'll push the Braves back inside their 45 to the 44. Second and 15 for the Braves. They were behind the chains quite a bit against Prairie View and able to work through that. And that's something, you know, for this offense, you know, we're good when we're with the chains or ahead of the chains, but it makes it tough when you're behind the chains like they are right now. Second and 15, and here's Nico Duffy trying to shed a tackler, turns it upfield and gets back to the 48-yard line. Our third down and 11 coming up for the Braves here with 7.53 left in this first quarter. This Valley defense can be stingy. Let's keep that in mind here. When you look at this defense at four sacks versus Bethune-Cookman, well, Bethune had 281 yards rushing last week against this Delta Devil defense. Third down and a long 10 coming up here for the Braves. 
with seven and a half left halfway through this first quarter. Showing pressure now. They back off here. They draw Duffy. Duffy sheds a tackler and is finally dragged down at the 45 by Daniels. So bring up fourth down. Fourth and five. Well, Braves were behind the change right there. Cedric Bush, and now uh, that drive kind of fizzled. Yeah, you, you can't make those mistakes like that. You got a good drive going. You got to give your offense an opportunity to be Braves, successful. Braves 19, McCullough deep for the Devils. It's clean. Well, Corey McCullough on for the Braves. Field goal department, three of seven coming in. And McCullough standing at his 40-yard line. The snap and the kick, mile high. Wow. Fair catch call for around the 10, and it's made by Clayton. We'll take a break here with 640 left in the first quarter. Seven to nothing, all corn. We'll be back in 60 seconds. This is Brave Football. During the break, Brian flushed out to his right, threw it into the ground. There was a receiver in the area, so second down and 10. On second down, Valley going back to the run and just can't get much going there. Johnson on the carry. Third down coming up for the Delta Devils. Third down coming up. Third down for the Delta Devils. Third and ten. Jared Bryant out of the shotgun on third down. And ten, straight back to pass. Here comes pressure. Steps up. He's going to run. He's to the ten. To the 13, 14, 15 yard line. A gain of four. So fourth down and six. And Valley will punt. Cedric Tillman, I get the feeling with this Valley offense, it's about getting yards and sample sizes. Small <laughs> chunks here and there, and then set you up for something big. Well, I'll tell you what, our defensive line is being very active uh, today, Charles. Uh, they're stopping the ball at the line of scrimmage. You know, so um, I'm not sure what Valley is trying to do here, yeah. but we seem to be stopping it. Well, Valley, you know, offensively, you know, they scored what, 20 points against Tennessee State, Lamar, and fizzled in the second half against uh, Bethune-Cookman. Here's a fair catch call for and made. Nice fingertip catch by Juan Anthony. 5-10 left here in this first quarter. Might be in a, well, let's see, where's the marker? Oh, back towards the kicker. He wonders is this running into a roughing the kicker. They're pointing down, they're pointing towards all court. They're talking with Vincent Dancy. Referee getting the options. This is going to be against the Braves here. I think it could be roughing or running into the kicker. Let's see why it's being called here. All right, here we go. John Alden. Running into the kicker, number 89 on the defense, five-yard penalty, be fourth down. Fourth down. Uh, running into the kicker on the Braves, Zyron Thompson, the freshman from Collins, Mississippi. <laughs> Fourth down and a yard. They took the yardage. So fourth down and a yard from their own 19 yard line. Second penalty on the Braves here this first quarter. Juan Anthony back at his 46 yard line. Reed at his five yard line. Break to the seven nothing lead with 5-10 left in the first quarter. The snap and the kick. Fair catch called for by Anthony. Makes it at the 49. So 5.03 left in this first quarter. 
Braves will have the football at midfield. So seven to nothing. The Braves with the lead here, Cedric Bush. Um, we scored on our second offensive possession. Kind of bogged down on our third. It's our fourth possession here in this first quarter. We should be in good shape. We, you know, we're getting the ball in a good field position. Valley hasn't crossed the 50-yard line yet. So we should be in good shape on this offensive possession. We're going to talk about this Alcorn Valley rivalry, 62nd meeting. When you look at the big 84 game that everyone still talks about. I have a poster in my office of an aerial view of a jam-packed Memorial Stadium. Some say the biggest crowd ever in that building. And the Braves go to the run here. And Trey Turner with the carry. So Trey Turner getting the carries here. That's his 11th carry of the season with a touchdown, a gain of six, second down and four. Here's Turner again, stood up. Falling forward to the 44, where it will be third down and three. Cedric Bush coming up here. So the Braves are banged up. There's no doubt about it. You look at the inactive tonight. No Noah Johnson. Waller is out. Bolton is out. Third down and four coming up for the Braves. With 4.17 left in this first quarter. Play clock at 13. 7 to nothing. The Braves with the lead. Third down and four for Harper. Three-step drop. Check down. is knocked away. Knocked down at the line. And it'll bring up fourth down. Eric Powell got a hand in there. So fourth down for the Braves. So after the second drive, Cedric Tillman, we bogged down here offensively the last two possessions. Yeah, um, the first down, Trey Turner picks up some nice yards for a first down play, but we went hurry up and went right back to the same play, but didn't pick up anything there. So um, I don't know the Braves still trying to get it done on the ground, but um, that, that drive just bogged down there, Charles. Fourth down and four coming up. McCullough on the kick. He's got a busy first quarter. This one a mile high in the air with no wind. Can the Braves get to it inside the five and down around the two? Wow. Good kick oh, by McCullough. Oh, yeah. Well, they mark it at the one and a half. So 354 left. We'll take a break right here. The Braves are up seven to nothing. Valley backed up to their one. Back in one minute from Spinks Castle. This is Braves football. Johnny Wilson with the catch moments ago. A great one-handed catch. Smith with a short pickup of four. So Valley with the first down. And then second down and four coming up here on second down. They go back to the run. And for the Delta Devils, short of the first down, they go with the big peak package. And it'll be third down and short coming up. Caleb Johnson, 5'9", 205, a sophomore from Memphis. So you don't have to ask, where's the beef? Because the beef is right there on the field. Third down and one with Johnson. I'm sure they'll go back to him here. you got to watch Brian as well on third down and a yard from the 28. They need to get to the 29. Johnson shifts to the right of Bryant with 2.48 left in the first. On third down, here's Johnson again plowing forward. Picks up the first down and more. Needed one, got three and a first down. Well, Cedric Tillman, a change of pace here. You bring in a little bit of beef. Yeah, they, they definitely picked up some yardage there. He just kind of bounced off a couple Looks of guys. Like Lane Ford and picked up some yards there, Charles. So Valley now going fast on first down play action. Here's a screen caught down the far side, and Clayton out of bounds outside the 35. They mark him at the 37, a gain of five. Well, it just shows you what 
we talk about in football. When you can run the football, you pick up a first down and you can run the football, stretch the field a little bit, it makes it a little more comfortable for the quarterback. There's a quick hitter high incomplete. There are flags out here on the opposite side of the field. So let's check the marker here. Markers on the opposite side of the play. The pass was thrown left. Markers on the right side. It'll be interesting to see what this call is. Also, the Braves took a timeout with 2.18 left here in this first quarter. So the Braves took a timeout. Other scores around the SWAC. Houston Baptist over Texas Southern, 13 to nothing in the first quarter. Alabama A&M over Central State, 13 to nothing. Go figure, Alabama A&M. You just can't, you cannot figure that team out. And that's the scary part <laughs> because they come here in November. Right, yeah. They may have a lot at stake then. They may have nothing at stake. Right. If you have no idea which A&M team is going to show up. Show up. It's always that. They came here one year. We headed to the SWAC championship and came and beat us 18-17, I think. And I'm like, you know, where did this team come from, you know? And come back the next week, I think I'd be by 40. Yeah. So, you know, go figure. I mean, someone, I was asked for prediction of these games this morning and uh, on the Carlos Brown show, and they said, what do you think? I said, I have no idea. I have no, and, and this kind of illustrates the point. Wouldn't be surprised if they won. Wouldn't be surprised if they lost. And yet, it's 14 nothing A&M. That game in Mobile, by the way. Hmm. Second down and five for Valley. Moving the football here. This drive started at their one-yard one line, yard line. And yeah. they're at the 37. Hmm. So second down and five for Bryant and the Delta Devils. Um, and now here's something. But plowing his way to the 40-yard line. They have found something here in this back. back. Caleb Johnson to the 43rd down and two coming up for the Delta Devils. Two minutes left here in this first quarter. Bray scored on their second possession, but the last two drives haven't yielded much offensively. Valley moving the football here, third and two. This drive started at their one-yard line. Offset eye here with Johnson in the backfield. On third down and two, Creighton behind the formation. Quarterback will keep it, and he picks up the first down. Nice fake. Turned it back inside and picked up the first down. And Jared Bryant with the first down. Looks like Kinsler with the tackle. Yeah, they're finally getting into the offense, running the offense. This is what Valley does. And, and what they were doing earlier, I don't know. But this is what Valley does. They're going to they're gonna pull it and let this guy get on the corner, I promise you. They're going to score make this game into a grinding halt. <laughs> no doubt about it. Five receivers, three right, two left. Clayton in motion, right to left. Now three left, two right here. Now Clayton comes back in motion, and now Ryan will keep it, and he's dumped for a two-yard loss. Ryan, tackle for a loss. Well, you got to keep an eye on Brian three. Cedric Tillman. He's Stand very out. sneaky in that backfield. Yeah, when they went five wide, I was trying to figure out what were they trying to do. I thought maybe they would open up the offense and try to throw the ball down the field, but they, they stuck with the run, but the Braves stayed at home and uh, sniffed out that run. Second down and 12 for the Delta Devils. Final play of this first quarter, 7 to nothing. Alcorn with the lead. Second down and 12 for Valley. Clayton in motion. They fake the end around. Brian looks throws over the middle. Knocked away. Oh, mm. Solomon Muhammad stayed at home and almost picked it off. Well, Solomon Muhammad with a monster game last week, 18 tackles. Cedric Bush, that's a that's a game for the ages. So did he get defensive player of the week? Yes. Okay, well then, then we're on track. <laughs> we're on track. This guy is something to see, man, I promise you. If, you that, know, if that didn't occur, I was going to make a phone call. Know, we need all to be, need to be making phone calls because like, this guy, he's something special. And I have the commissioner's cell phone. I was going to call him. I said, we have a conspiracy here. Third down and 12. Brian back to pass. Empty backfield. Looks throws high and complete. Well, he's had some open receivers. Johnny Wilson at 6'5", 220. And he sailed it over his head. So it's fourth down and a couple. And with 25 seconds left in the first quarter, the Braves get off the field. Last two possessions offensively haven't done much. Let's see if we can uh, do something here on this possession. Morrison back for the Braves. So we've seen Anthony and now Javon Morrison. Morrison averaging eight yards per punt return. Read on the kick. High kick. 
kick fair catch call for by at the 25 yard line. It's left here in this first quarter. Third quarter in Dallas, Preview 31, Grambling 23. Well, I was wrong. I thought Grambling would win the game, and I thought it wouldn't be as high scoring. But it just shows you what we saw last week, the highest scoring team in the league by far. They're the for Preview real. Panthers. They're for real, Charles. I promise you they're for real. But they can't play any defense. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, you can't win if you can't stop anybody, and yeah. that's – Kind of the case here. On first on the end around, here's Juan Anthony down the sideline. Juan Anthony cuts it back in, and Anthony goes out of bounds. Good pickup for Juan Anthony. So first down, the end around, left to right. Juan Anthony, good blocking on the edge. Nice footwork down the sideline, and that'll take us to the end of the first quarter. The Braves with a seven and nothing lead over Mississippi Valley. We'll take a one minute break. We'll be right back after this timeout. You're listening live to the All Corn Football Radio Network. Braves with a 7 and nothing lead as we get ready for the second quarter. All good nights forever, supporting the legacy by investing in the future. That's the theme of the 43rd ASU National Alumni Midwinter Conference, hosted by the Birmingham Alumni Chapter Thursday, February 27th through Sunday, March 1st, 2020 at the Sheridan in Birmingham. Contact Alvin Moore at 202-222-1044 for more information. As we get the second quarter underway, we've got a flag down. And uh, throw on the carry, and let's check the marker here as we begin this second quarter. Maybe a hole on the edge where the marker was thrown. Razor going back the other way, it looks like. Hold. Yep. Demetrius Lewis, the tight end, the senior from Chicago, mm. call for the hole. So the Braves behind the change. Here's Cedric Tillman to start the second quarter. Yeah, it's something we don't need to happen, happen here. Let's see if we can pick up something here. All right, first down and 20 for the Braves. They're at their 30 yard line, up 7 0. Just underway here in the second quarter. Harper, straight back to pass, looks, throws. Wow. Wide open. Wide there. Open. Got it. Yes, 30, sir. Touchdown. 20. 10, touchdown, <laughs> 59 yards, Chris Blair wide open. I mean, Blair got behind the defense. All he had to do was catch it and head to the end zone. And Cedric Tillman doesn't get any easier than that. Yeah, the safety, everybody was looking at the short passes in the slant. They didn't see Blair going down the field, wide open. <laughs> I mean, that's about as easy as it gets, Judge Bush and Chris Blair getting into the act. Second touchdown for ASU. I had to watch Harp on that. I think he got hit late on the uh, pass when he threw it. So the Braves with a 13 to nothing lead. And McCullough on for the PAT, and it's good. So the Braves with a 14 nothing lead here in the second quarter. We'll take a one-minute break. Early second, Braves 14, Valley nothing. Back after this one minute timeout, yes, and uh, looking at the replay, Felix Harper did take a shot. We'll check in with Cedric Tillman after this timeout. 14 to nothing, the Braves with the lead. Back in a minute on the All Corn Football Radio Network.
All right, this ball returned from the five to the 20 yard line, 25 30, and out of bounds. Johnson on a return. Well, first down to 10, Donald Johnson, the wide receiver, the junior, on the return. So, Valley, good field position here to start. The second quarter for the Delta Devils. We played 43 seconds of the second quarter. Central State on the board, 14 to 7 A&M over Central State with 3.15 left in the first quarter. Here, 14 to nothing. The Braves with the lead. Southern over UAPB, 7 to nothing with 3.46 left. I know the Jaguar Nation is panicking right now. They're shaking in their boots. <laughs> no doubt about it. I'm going to take an Aaron Rodgers approach. On uh, the first down, another big run here. Boy, Valley been able to well, run the football. No, Johnson no, with the carry. Second down. And a pretty good gain of eight. And every, you know, folks at Southern are talking about Skelton is struggling. I mean, he hasn't played a full season's worth of football. It's going to take time. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind he's the future. Oh. But uh, he's struggling for sure. On second down, Johnson again. That's a first down. Boy, he is a load, Cedric Tillman. And over 200 pounds, uh, we've had trouble hauling him in. Well, I think we were wondering about what, what they're doing on offense, but I believe they found something here. Uh, let's see if we can stop it now. I'm sure they're going to feed him quite a bit. as Valley approaching midfield at their own 49. Minute and a half into the second quarter, 14 to nothing. Of course, Southern, a tough stretch. They come here in a few weeks. Bryant Bullet, she'll check down, caught a gain of four on this uh, near side. And for, with the catch for the Delta Devils is Marcus Kidd, the junior wide receiver from Crete, Illinois. Second down and six. Give him a five-yard pickup. So second down and five. Valley and Braves territory. Braves up 14 to nothing. Two minutes into the second quarter. Second down and five. And Brian will keep it. Brian falling forward to the 43-yard line. Well, to bring up third down. Well, they mark him at the 44. So third down and three coming up for the Delta Devils. Well, let's see if uh, Johnson is their primary guy here. They go with the big beef package. Third down coming up. Johnson staying in the lineup. Third down and three. Play clock at 17. Two and a half minutes into this second quarter. Boy, we're rolling right along. 14 to nothing. <laughs> this game 40 minutes old in the second quarter. On third down and three. Brace showing blitz. Here's Bryant being chased and throws wow. Johnson with the catch wide wow. open down the sideline. Has the first down at the 36. The Braves brought the whole county with them. And that time, Bryant flushed out to his right. And Johnson, his safety valve, picked up the first down there, Cedric Tillman. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what he was doing, but he did find that back out in the backfield. And he just avoided that sack there. First down. And here is uh, Bryant with the keeper. And he's thrown around and tossed down. For a short pickup of a couple so it's all johnson right now where they're catching the football or running the football so you have johnson and bryant you have to deal with a gain of four second down and six valley in the hurry up at the braves 33 on second down here's johnson here and he's thrown down for a loss johnson carry so we'll bring up third down and long ron bonds with the tackle for a loss, a TFL in the stat category, tackle for a loss. Third and nine here, Cedric Bush. What do you expect the Braves to do here defensively? They're going to play it tough. I don't know if they're going to send pressure. They got five wide. Third down and nine, hard snap count. They scan. I think the first time we've seen Valley scan. Five receivers, empty backfield, three left, two right. Third down and nine from the 36 of Alcorn. 14 to nothing, the Braves with the lead. Bryant straight back to pass. And the screen is caught to the 40, straight oh, yeah. to the 34, short That's of the good. first down, a short pickup of three. Fourth down and seven. Well, you're in a situation where you got a long field goal here, 50 yarder maybe, 51, or do you go for it here? The way your defense is kind of hanging tough and they're going to go here. Yeah. I think Brian or Johnson will get this football here. You know, Brian will at quarterback, will he keep it? Play clock at 20. They're going to go here on fourth and seven. Tight formation. Three receivers right, one left. Fourth down and seven. Shannon defense from the crowd here at Spinks. Play clock at eight. Fourth down and seven. 
Ryan steps back a step, deep snap, and then just a push Whoa. kick. <laughs> Inside the 10, in sideways roll, oh, two-yard line. Well, that's where the Braves will get it with 9.53 left. That sends us to a break, 14 to nothing. The Braves have the football at the one-yard line. We'll take a break. We'll be right back in a minute. This is Braves football. All right, during the break, Nico Duffy for three, second down and seven. The drive started at the two, they're at the five, second down and seven for the Braves with nine and a half left in this first half. 14 to nothing, the Braves with the lead over Mississippi Valley. No Waller, no Noah Johnson in this game on second down. And here is Duffy on the stretch play, and Duffy well, is upended for no gain. Duffy on the carry. And he was tackled by Trey Tompkins, the DB. Tompkins leveled Tompkins with Cedric Tillman. Third down and long coming up. Here's a huge play right here. Cedric Tillman, third and long for the Braves. Yeah, third and long. That, that stretch, stretch play is just not working. And um, Duffy hasn't been able to get that corner yet. So let's see what we can do here. Yeah. All right, Cedric, appreciate it. Third down and seven. Here's a huge play in this first half. 8.42 left. It could flip the field. Harper looks, check down, and this is caught Duffy. Duffy steps out of a tackle, spins, wow. and Duffy's got the first oh. down. Bumble, Valley's Valley. got it. Mm. Here we go. Valley comes up with the football, and recovering that fumble is Rod Silverstre, the redshirt senior. Duffy looked like he had, he had the first down, but put it on the ground. I'd like to see that again. Duffy with some nice moves there, Cedric Tillman, but... Put the ball on the ground. Definitely some nice moves, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if he was down or not, but the ball did come out. Pat White, the quarterback's coach, talking with Duffy. I'm sure he said, look, you had the first down. You know, kind of turned it back upfield and was popped. So Valley defense, this is what they can do. They can make it tough on you. Now they have it, their best chance of this half. And here's a keeper by Bryant. Uh, Lost he... a yard. 8.21 left here in this first half for Allison the best the chance the for the Delta Devils. The Second down for the Delta Devils at the 15-yard line. Coach Dancy called this game their state championship game. Oh, yeah. Second down and 11. Here's Brian, student body left. Brian to the 10. Brian to the 5, 4, 3, 2. Gets to the goal line. He's going to be marked down at the 1. What? First and goal, Valley. Wow. Blocking down that left side, Cedric Bush and Brian a yard away from getting in the end zone, but Somebody first and goal for the Delta line. Devils. They played it just like they wanted. They had them on the short end of the field. Defense made a, made a play, now the offense is doing that part. Empty backfield. Looks like Bryant might keep it here. Here's Bryant, student body right, lunges at the goal line. He gets touchdown. in. Touchdown, Valley. Well, a turnover turns into a uh, touchdown Bryant. for the Delta Devils, and Valley's on the board, 14-6 to with the PAT coming up. Well, it was all Bryant on that short drive, Cedric Tillman. Yeah, he, he had the student body going left down the sideline, Charles, down to the one-yard line. So, I uh, mean, Punch the end there, so. Just can't have turnovers deep in your own territory. I mean, Valley's not an offensive juggernaut, but you can't give them a short field. Seven and a half left halfway through this second quarter. I mean, Duffy had the first down, a couple of spin moves, put it on the ground, read on for the point after. He's got it. 
Seven-point lead for the Braves, 14 to seven. Halfway through this second quarter, we'll take a one-minute break. Alcorn, 14, Valley, seven. Back in a minute on the Braves Sports Network. Mississippi's Toughest Kids Foundation, with help from the Department of Defense, is creating a special place for children to explore, to have thrilling adventures, and to discover the wonderful outdoors. Camp Tomasa near Crystal Springs is designed exclusively for children and adults with special needs, those often limited by serious illnesses, physical or mental challenges, and other issues. But Camp Tomasa is no ordinary camp. It's big, 326 acres big. It will have a lake, a swimming pool, an archery range, an equestrian center, an infirmary, and much more. As part of the military's ongoing deployment training, the Air Force Reserve is leading a joint effort with the Marine Reserves, Air National Guard, and Army National Guard to clear the land to build eight 2,000 square foot cabins and multi purpose buildings. Thanks for the record. Jump in. Mars is digging for the Delta Delta Schuster. Fourteen to seven, the Braves with the lead. Duffy and Marsh back to receive this kick from Hayden Schuster and Marsh uh, Morrison at the eighteen to the twenty, and Morrison at the twenty. Morrison on the return. Three, back at the twenty-four yard line, a six-yard return. Well, Cedric Bush, that's the fumble by Nico Duffy. It's the seventh fumble of the season. The Braves have lost five of them, and that one cost us seven points. Yeah, it's good. You, know, you can turn it over, especially when you enter the field. But that that percentage is too high in order to have your productive offense for the rest of the season. 7:25 left. Bray's got to get back with it here. Nico Duffy in the backfield to the right of Felix Harper. Bray's have four receivers, three right, one left. And on the read, Harper will keep it, and the pass is caught. A key again. He fumbled. Valley's got it. Well, it was lost again, but I think Valley's got it again. Yeah. Wow. There's a scrum. Valley's got it. Valley's got the football, and the same guy that recovered the fumble the last time by Duffy, Tracy Tompkins, recovers another. But now there's a flag down here at the 31-yard line, and let's check this marker. So he's got a possible turnover. I'm sure they might look at it. And a penalty here. Unsportsmanlike against wow. the Delta Devils. So that cost them 15. Rod Taylor, I'm sorry, Ray Taylor with the unsportsmanlike. But Cedric Tillman, another fumble here by the Braves. Yeah, it was a nice catch over the middle. And he was pretty much going down to the ground, and the ball just squirted out. Uh, the defender knocked it out. It definitely a fumble on that on that play, Charles. So Valley will take it at midfield with 7-10 left. Two turnovers for the Braves. Well, instead of the 35, the Braves' defense better position at midfield but two turnovers by the offense oh and there's Whoa. a snap and falling on it is johnson all the way back oh, inside his 35, 35 to the 33 yep, i like to see that again to see if maybe it was an early snap count will valley hurt themselves with a unsportsmanlike after the turnover and now they have the football to 34 yeah he wasn't even looking uh, Johnson right there on the spot. Well, how far do they have to go here? They're at the 34. <laughs> let's see, 16, 17, and 10. Almost to Rodney Road. 27. Here's a pass bad in the air, incomplete. Second and down and 27. Third I'm sorry, third down and 27. So third and 27 oh. here. And after the turnover, Cedric Tillman, Valley going the other way. Yeah, we caught a break on that one, so the best thing now is don't get beat deep on this one. Third down and long. Third and 27. 626 left here in this first half. Braves with a 14 to 7 lead, but two turnovers. Two straight turnovers. Third down and long. Brian will just keep it. 
Bryant to the 35, Bryant to the 40, Bryant to the 45. Bryant keeps it, brings up fourth and 15. So fourth and long Taylor here. So the Braves get off the field after the second turnover in a row by the offense. 6.07 left till halftime. Alcorn 14, Valley 7. We're in on again for another punt. Well, both kickers have been active in this first half. 5.50 and counting left till halftime. Next week we'll be at Hornet Stadium for a 2 o'clock kickoff. Bama State off today, and they're checking this game out, I'm sure. Here's the kick, and it's going to be caught by Morrison. She had the tackler and a shoestring Ooh. tackle at the 30-yard line, a 13-yard Return. We'll take a break here with five and a half left in this first half. Braves with the ball and the lead, 14 to 7. We'll be back in one minute. This is Braves football. Braves Shella, the Old Foster Universe Homecoming Experience, October 6th through the 13th, with a host of events. Visit the website allcorn.edu front slash homecoming. It's halftime of all Corn Braves football here at Jack Spence Memorial Castle Stadium. The Braves are in Mississippi Valley. We thought we would take this halftime show to introduce you to some of the new coaches working in the athletic department. And we have a new track and field and cross country coach and an assistant track and field and cross country coach. And we're talking with assistant Wesley Stevens. So during the break, Harper for no gain and Pringle on the end around picks up the first down with 450 left in the first half. So Pringle with the first down run and Pringle's had a nice game here. Felix Harper during the break, no gain and then Har uh, Harper on the end around to Pringle picks up the first down, gain of 16 at the 43 yard line. On first down, Harper straight back to pass, looking long down the field, and this ball is incomplete. they will bring up second that down intended for out. Radarius Anderson. Cedric Tillman, it's good to see Radarius Anderson back in the lineup. Yeah, definitely. He probably overthrew him just a little bit on that play, Charles. What is it about Valley's defense? I know we've turned it over twice in a row. Harper for no gain on the first play. Good thing on the end around by Pringle. Is it Valley's offense or just our turnovers here? I think it's just our turnovers. Uh, they're trying to stiffen up on the run game, but the passing game is still there. And here's Nico Duffy to the 45-yard line. Well, here's a big play here, Cedric Tillman. Back down to you. Third down and seven for the Braves. Well, let's see where we go here. Uh, we got Blair and one Anthony and Pringle and Anderson on the other side over there. Let's see what we can do here, Charles. Yeah, Judge Bush, five wide, so four wides and a single setback here. Mm -hmm. Third down and seven for the Braves at their 45, up 14 to seven. Harper back to pass, looks, throws.
Bryan is dragged down with 46 seconds left. So fourth down, I think the Braves will take their final time out. With 45 seconds left till halftime. So here in this final night game of the season, the Braves will get the football here. Cedric Bush and a good opportunity here with some perhaps some decent field position. Morrison's done a nice job in uh, returning kicks. The Braves really rotating Cedric Bush. A lot of folks on that punt and kickoff return. No doubt about it. If we could get three or a touchdown, we just need to go in with points if we get the ball back. Remember the Prairie View game last week, Cedric Tillman, when it looked like the Panthers had all the momentum. A muff on a punt return gave the Braves a touchdown and Awarded yeah. any momentum late. Let's see if we can get some momentum here in the last 45 seconds. Yeah, it would be nice if we get a, a nice return and then maybe get it across the 50 and, you know, might probably have a shot for the end zone again or even a field goal. 45 seconds left till halftime. We'll hear from Fred McNair coming up. Don't forget the Fred McNair radio show Monday night at 6 o'clock. We'll talk all about the Valley game and look ahead to Bama State, a team that's waiting on us. They're off this week. They beat Grambling at home last week. They're off this week, and we go to Montgomery next week. Should be fun. We'll be on the air at 1.30. Here's the snap and the kick. Low kick, short kick. Morrison gets away from it. Does he try to get to it? No. Inside the 40. Takes a dead stop at the 36. Morrison trying to oh, pick it up no. and fumble the ball. It's recovered no. by Valley. No. And this could no. very well no. be a touchdown no. at the 10, at the 5, at the 1 yard line. <laughs> But they're going to roll him down, a turnover, wow. and Valley will get it. What was Morrison doing? He did everything right, and then he tried to pick up the football and fumbled it. Wow. I mean, Morrison got away from the ball. Oh, wow. I, I can imagine being in the locker room with Coach McNeil now. That's wow. the third turnover, Cedric Tillman. What was Morrison thinking right there? Yeah, I, I don't know because <laughs> – even if he picked it up, he wouldn't have picked up anything. We just want the ball back. That was the biggest right. part. Right. Well, just like last week, in this time, reverse <laughs> order. Panthers gave us momentum towards the end of the first half. Now, we're giving Valley a little bit of momentum here late first half in this game. The third turnover, the third fumble for the Braves in this first half. And I know Fred McNair is not a happy camper right now. Valley has the football at the 36-yard line. Well, they rule them down, thankfully. Valley could have easily had it at the one-yard line. All right, so now first and 10 for the Delta Devils. Bryant back to pass. Looks, 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 throws deep, and this ball is going to be incomplete. A lot of gas on that throw intended for Johnny Wilson, the 6'5 receiver, second and 10. Our third turnover, we dodged one bullet. Trying to dodge another here late in the first half. Three turnovers for Alcorn. 18 seconds left in the first half. 21 to 7. Morrison did everything right. Got away from it. Then tried to pick it up and was bump off the ball. Valley got it. Second down and 10 at the 36. Bryant out of the shotgun on second down. He's back to pass. Pressured steps up. Bryant was going to take off. Bryant to the 40. He throws and it's caught inside the 20 yard line to the 18. And that's gonna be a first down. A first down catch just tickling the sideline was Kevin Levette, the tight end. So first down at the 16 yard line with 11 seconds left. And two timeouts. Yeah, so Valley can play this here. Close to the vest. Brian looks, throws, wow. and it's caught, it's a touchdown. Wow. Mississippi Valley. On the far side, a touchdown, Valley Marcus Kidd, and he threw a dart on the fade. He was wide open, Cedric Tillman, and fell right in the basket. Well, it was on the other side, so I wasn't sure how he got that wide open and where he came from. Seven seconds left. Well, this time last week, exhilaration in the final seconds of the first half. This week, just the opposite. A late touchdown following a late turnover that results in a touchdown for Valley, and it's 21-13 with seven seconds left in the half. Reed on for the point after. Snapback ball now. Kick is up. The kick is, uh, well, they blow it dead. The Braves might have jumped off sides, and they did. 
with seven seconds left in the first half. Offside, defense, number 22, retry, half a distance to go. Wilson offside on that far side. And I tell you what, Fred McNair, mm, be an interesting uh, halftime conversation. We just gave Valley seven points right there. A team that's been struggling to score. Well, Coach Dancy said it's their state championship. And uh, Valley's very much in this one right now. 21-13, they run the swinging gate. Now they line up in the appropriate formation. 21-13 to 13 with seven seconds left. Three turnovers for the Braves. Valley has converted on two of them. PAT coming up. Snapback ball out, kick is up, and the kick. Oh, hit the left upright, no good. Hit the left upright, no good. So seven seconds left till halftime. Interesting to see what comments Fred McNair has for Cedric <laughs> Tillman, if he has any. He may not have any. He might not have any. He's ready to get in the locker room, I promise you. Fred McNair, I'm looking right at him at the 34, arms folded. Just Cedric Tillman, you just can't give a team that, and that's twice we've given him decent field position. And that last one just kind of confusing to me. Morrison, I mean, he got away from it, did everything he was supposed to do, and then he tried to pick it up. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't get it. I mean, we were up by two touchdowns. You know, we're going in in, in the half with a 14-point lead. So, I mean, we were satisfied with that, yeah. you know, but I don't know why he would want to do that. Yeah, that's uh, definitely a head scratcher, to say the least. And Fred McNair looking at the monitor, just looking at him from the side. <laughs> body language, I study body language, Cedric Bush. <laughs> body language tells me that, uh, you know, not good. It, it looks like he can chew some nails right about now, I promise you. Too soft. Nails are too soft. They're too soft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you find something a little harder. Here's the kick. Uh oh, and this oh, is popped up again. Goodness. Valley's got this. Oh, my goodness. But time's going to run out, I believe. Two seconds left. Two seconds. That's no, a no, yeah. No, I thought time would run out, but there's two seconds two left. Seconds. The shot at the end zone. Come on, man. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. What can happen will happen. A dribbler, and Valley can take a shot at the end zone here. I thought maybe as that was ping-ponged around, Cedric Tillman, time would expire. They're going to talk it over to see maybe there might be maybe three seconds. I, yeah. I don't know. Let's see here. Let's check with Mr. Allman. I thought he might make a call here. We might look at it to see if they might put another second on. Doesn't look like he will. So Two we're seconds. ready for play. Cedric Tillman, we're just we're not executing here. Well, uh Valley said that this is their championship and they're yeah. playing like it right now. So yeah. the Braves got to come out. They got to defend here mm -hmm. and worry about the second half. Hail Mary coming up at the 40 yard line. Brian out of the gun. Clayton in motion. Play action. Brian looks, throws, and it's all knocked oh. away. And that will take us to the half. We can That's exhale. Good. Webb knocked it away. Braves take a 21-13 lead wow. in the locker room. The Braves had complete control of this game until the final 10 seconds. Sorry, right, Cedric Tillman. For sure with Fred McNair. Yeah, yeah, I knew he wouldn't talk. Yeah. Oh. I knew it. Yeah. yeah. He, 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 he could chew railroad tracks right about now. Well, no comment from no Fred comment. McNair going into halftime. So we'll take a break here. And Derek Stevens, assistant track and field and cross-country coach, will join us at halftime coming up after this one minute break 21 13 the braves with the lead over mississippi valley eric stevens coming up after this one minute timeout here on the all corn football radio network
majors are Jeremy Robinson of Greenwood, Mississippi, Terrence Estelle of Atlanta, Georgia, and Davion Hall of Leland, Mississippi. Mean Green, let's jam. <laughs> The band will now take you through a captivating precision drill to the sounds of Earth, Wind, and Fire, September. And gentlemen, notice the fastidious drilling and exceptional instrumentation of the main green marching machine. This marching aggregation will always bring you mind expanding marching and drilling styles with a spirit of funny sound that takes you on a superb musical
Possession favors Valley 1758 to 1202. And this kick 
is kicked out of bounds. Valley will get it from the 35. They try the coffin corner kick to the left side. And Valley will have good position to start here. I think was it kicked out of bounds? Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. By rule, ball be placed at 35 yard line. First down. Yep. Ball at the 35, so that's where Valley will get it to start this third quarter. 21 to 13, the Braves with the lead over the Delta Devils. Next week, it's Alabama State in Montgomery, 2 o'clock. Um, first down play, here's Johnson on the stretch play, and Solomon Muhammad throws him down. A loss back to the 32-yard line. A loss of three, second down and seven. We're underway here in the third quarter. Second down coming up. Second down for the Braves. Defense, second down and 13. On second down, so here with a carry spun around and dropped short of the 40 yard Johnson line. Johnson on the carry. All right, Cedric Tillman, third and seven coming up Kevin here. Third down. third down and seven here for Valley. Cedric Tillman, let's see if we can get off the field. Well, yeah, let's see if we can get off the field here. Um, I look to see Valley keep it on the ground because. They ended that second quarter, Charles, picking up stuff uh, some yards on the ground. Let's see if they can do it here. At halftime, we outgained Valley 69-57 to 57 on third down. Here's a square out low, and it's going to be a catch. They rule it a catch, but short of the first down. Fourth down here from the 45-yard line. So fourth down and a yard. Valley's offense still on the field. Looks like they're going to go for it here. Well, Coach Dancy said this is the state championship ball game. They're going to try to draw the Braves off with a hard count on fourth down. And Bryant will keep it. And he's tripped up. He lost yards. And the Braves will take over. First down and 10. And a good open field tackle by Cavante Key. Key with the tackle, Cedric Tillman. And the Braves will take over. Well, Valley... Very daring and brave right there. Yeah, that, that's the way to start the third quarter right there. Uh, yeah, Valley took a big chance there, but uh, <laughs> gave us field position, so th this is a chance to capitalize on it. All right, first down for the Braves. Offense, 280 yards of offense in the first half. Felix Harper, 11 of 15 for 223 yards and three touchdowns. Nico Duffy in the backfield. The Braves running game. Trying to get that going without Waller here on the stretch play. Here's Nico Duffy. Good blocking. Cuts it outside. Nico dragged down short of the 30-yard line. Tackle by Thompson. Second down and a yard. Second down and one. Just underway here in this third quarter. On second down, Duffy again at the 30-yard line. It's a first down. So first down at the 30-yard line. All right, so the Braves come out. A couple of plays. Picking up the first down. No Waller, the running game. Trying to get going here. Play action for Harper. Looks, and Harper can take off to the 30. Harper dragged down after a positive pickup of eight. 12-14 left. Well, the Braves moving the football here, Cedric Bush. Second down and three coming up. No doubt about it. We're doing what we do now. You know, without the mistakes, we'll be, we'll be in great shape. We don't make the mistakes. Can't fumble on this. Trey Turner in the backfield to the left of Harper. And here's Trey Turner. Trey Turner straight ahead. Turner, first down run. A hard run in the red zone at the 17. He goes full. I mean... You're not knocking him back. He's going forward. Braves one for one in the red zone. Here is Turner again. Turner dragged down short of the 15, the 16-yard line. Gain of two, second and eight. 
three and a half minutes into this third quarter. Alcorn 21, Valley 13, A&M 42, Central State 14 at halftime there in Mobile. Prairie View B Grambling 42-36 tonight. Good average. Second straight year the Panthers have beaten the Tigers. On second down, Harper back to pass. Harper can take off, and he's going to throw. The ball's deflected and complete in the back of the end zone intended for Rodarius Anderson, knocked away by Tompkins. He's had an active game, Cedric Tillman, on the defensive side. He has two fumble recoveries and knocked that ball away from Anderson. Third down coming up, third and eight. Yeah, he threw his little jump. He could have threw it a little bit higher. Yeah, he got up there and and got a tip up there. All right, so third down at eight coming up here. With 11.02 left. Third and two. Turner to the right of Felix Harper. Back to pass. A little check down. And it's too high. Intended for Turner, who was streaking wide open down the sideline. He caught, he catches that in stride. That's a touchdown. And that was defended by Isaiah Latham, the junior DB. So fourth down, and McCullough on. So the drive stalls here. The drive stalls at the 17. So you're looking at a 34-yard field goal attempt here. Make it 33 yards from McCullough near hash mark to add to the Braves' lead. Snapback ball now. Kick is up, and the kick is Good. good. So, McCullough gives the Braves an 11-point lead, 24-13. 10 51 left in this third quarter. Allcorn needs your support now more than ever. Show your Allcorn pride. Support our champions and scholars all year long through the Always Allcorn Annual Fund. Make your gift today. Help us continue fielding leaders for the future. You can call 601-877-6296, or you can go to allcorn.edu slash foundation. Well, Cedric Tillman, the Braves might have set a foundation for this second half. Drive bogged down, but it's good to get some points to add to their lead. Yeah, it's just good that we got, got some points on the board there, Charles. And let's uh, see if our defense can hold them again and get enough chance for some more points on the board. Yeah, that was kind of a, a tough end of the first half. Four fumbles, lost all four. Braves with a 24 to 13 lead, 10:51 left. So a couple of finals in Kentucky State over Jackson State, 33-25. Prairie View over Grambling, 42 to 36. A&M leading big at halftime. Braves with an 11-point lead here. And here is the kick return from the three-yard line to the 10 to the 15 down the sideline, 20 and out of bounds. Outside of the 20 to the 25-yard line. There's to the 24-yard line and 10.46 left. Next week, a 2 o'clock kickoff with Alabama State. You know, Cedric Bush, we've been used to playing Bama State 5 o'clock or later. I think in 28 years I've been doing this. And yeah. Every year we go to Montgomery. I think one time during the McNair era, we played a TV game in the afternoon. In this game next week, I think every other time it's been 5 o'clock or later. I remember a 7 o'clock kickoff. Right. Um, so it's unusual to play Bama State in Montgomery in the afternoon. But that's what we've got next week at 2 o'clock. And the Hornets are off this week after a win over Grambling. Now here's a quick hitter in this pass, a diving catch. And uh, is it going to – Are they going to call it a catch? They are going to call it a catch. It's going to be a catch – it's a catch near the sideline to Johnny Wilson. I think Fred McNair is going to look at it. So our first challenge. Well, we've got the monitors up here. Let's take a look at it here. They call it a catch on the field. So that's the first thing you want to think about. There has to be indisputable evidence to overturn the initial call, which is a catch. So let's see if we can take a look at it here with ten and a half minutes left in this first, this third quarter. 24 to 13. They're going to look at this to see if it's a catch or not. All right, let's see here. So we'll square outs. Ball popped in the air and Wilson hung on to it. 
Well, they're going to have to slow that down at regular speed. It's hard to, it's hard to tell Cedric Tillman at regular speed. They'll have to slow that down to see if the ball hit the ground. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It looked like the ball hit the ground, but I can't tell. But the ball did pop up, and while he was laying on the ground, it came to him. So, let's see. After review, running on the field, stand. First down. Well. Well, again, you, you just don't know if there was any evidence to try to overturn that. Mm, that's close. It's, it's close. It's just, unless you're right up on it, the angle is a pretty good angle, but probably wasn't enough there to overturn it. Right. Well, the catch stands at the 45-yard line by Wilson. First down, Valley. The restart drop, the pump fake. Here's Brian, a lob over the top, and this ball is incomplete. And bring up second down, intended for Wilson. Well, they're going to him, Cedric Bush, at 6'5", 220, a junior from Tylertown. I mean, they're looking for their big target. They have a big fullback, and what we've seen already for Mississippi Valley and Caleb Johnson and a big target in Wilson at 6'5", 220. It's one of the biggest receivers I've seen in the conference this year. Second and 10 with 10-17 left in the third quarter. And now they've cleared it to... Listen, and a good carry by Johnson inside the 50. They took the quarterback inside the 50 to the 48-yard line. And Caleb Johnson, third and two coming up here for Valley. On third down and two. And here's Johnson straight ahead. First down. Needed two, got five. First down, Mississippi Valley. Well, this is what they want to do here, Cedric Tillman. They want to ground and pound. Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing a good job at it. You know, they've got that third and short. It's kind of hard to stop it. There. First down, Valley at the 45. And now the play action is a pass low incomplete. Intended for kid. Second down and 10. Marcus Kidd, the junior from Chicago. I almost started to say Jason Kidd in the NBA. <laughs> the NBA season starts in about a month. Second down and 10 with nine and a half minutes left here in this third quarter. Valley on the march. They're at the 43 of Alcorn, 24-13. The Braves with the lead. Second down and 10. For Bryant and the Delta Devils, right to left in this third quarter on second down. Ryan will keep it. Ryan to the 40, inside the 40, down at the 35. Row to bring up third down and two, coming up for the Delta Devils. Well, this, uh, you know, Valley's doing what they need to do, slowing this thing down here, Cedric Bush, managing the clock, managing the sticks here, third and two coming up. They're methodically doing it. They're moving it down the field. That's what they want to do. Just grind it in the ground. He has a bruiser back in the backfield. Yeah, Caleb Johnson in the backfield on third down and two. There's Ryan again with the keeper, and Brian tackled for about a half-yard gain. Fourth down and a yard coming up for Valley. I think they're going to go for it here. Fourth and one from the 34. They need to get to the 33. And you're looking at a 51-yard field goal. They're not going to do that, and they're going to try to ground and pound here on fourth down. They've got Kevin Lavette, the big tight end, at 6'2", 230. You've got Johnson, who's been carrying the mail, and you've got this quarterback to Jared Bryant. So a lot to think about here. Fourth down and a yard from the 34 of Alcorn. They need to get to the 33. Here's Johnson up the middle. Johnson a first down to the 30. Bounces outside, 25 to the 20, to the 15, and goes out of bounds inside the 15. To the 11, first down, Mississippi Valley. Well, the Delta Devils are in the red zone where they are two for two in this game. Now they're in the hurry up. Here's Johnson again to the 10. Johnson dropped at the nine. A two-yard pickup, second down and eight. Big drive in this game here. Second down, mark it second and seven. Valley looking at the sideline, play clock at 23. We have seven and a half left in the third quarter, halfway through. Valley on the march, 24-13, Alcorn. Second down and seven. 
Bryant out of the shotgun. They roll him to his right. Looks throws on the square. Caught, and it's going to be wow. a touchdown. Mississippi Valley. Touchdown, Marcus Kidd, the junior. And the Delta Devils have made it a 24-19 game. And Cedric Tillman, he just sat at the pylon. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell where he came from, but he was just sitting there at the goal line. He was just waiting for the ball to get there and just fell in the end zone. Well, already a PAT has been missed by Red. He hit the left upright. Valley responds. At the, the Braves got a field goal. Valley responds. Now they go for wow. two with the swinging gate. And it's not made. Two-point conversion, no good. Vontre White, the tight end on the end around on the swinging gate, didn't get in. But Valley makes it a five-point game. 7-17 left in the third quarter. 24-19, the Braves over Mississippi Valley. We'll take a break. We'll be back after this. Time out on the Braves Sports Network. Twenty-four to nineteen, Schuster with the kick. It's gonna be returned from the fifteen by Pringle. Pringle outside the fifteen, out to the thirty-three. An eighteen-yard return by Pringle. So the Braves have it first and ten with seven ten left in this third quarter. Valley twenty-two points against Tennessee State. They had 20 against Lamar, just six against Bethune Cookman, and here they are, Cedric Bush. 19 points and very much in the game. With 7-10 left, raised by five. A missed PAT and a missed two-point conversion huge in this game as well. Could very well be a three-point game, but the Braves lead by five. They have it at the 31-yard line, left to right here in this third quarter, more than halfway through it. First down and 10. And on first down, the Braves try to run the ball, and they cannot. On that zone, Reed Duffy brought down. I don't know if Harper was going to keep it or not. It's kind of a slow-developing play. Nico Duffy loses two. Second down and 12 with 6.50 left in the third quarter. 24-19, the Braves over Valley. Second down and 12. Harper out of the shotgun, low snap play action for Harper, steps up, dances to his left, looks, throws down the field, it falls high and complete, intended for Blair. And he was covered by Cooper, came in Cooper, the linebacker, third down, and long here coming up, Cedric Tillman, third and 12. Yeah, it looked like he could have ran that ball. Yeah. I couldn't yeah. tell if it was anybody over there. But uh, let's see what we do here. All right, third down and 12. It's a big play here. Valley with the momentum. We've done well with these tough situations. Third and 12 here from inside our 30. Braves up 24-19. Harper back to pass. Good pocket steps up. Got a lot of this one long down the field. And this ball is incomplete. And we got flags. Chris Blair, the intended target, covered by Shaw, the free safety. And it's going to be a first down. That was a nice throw there by Harper. Pass interference. Defense, number two, 15 yard penalty. On the next first down. Big play right there, Cedric Bush, that keeps the drive alive. Keeps the drive alive. Like you say, that, you know, early on in, in the play calling, uh, the quarterback had a lot of green to go out there. I, I don't know why he's not running. I don't know if they're telling him to stay there or not, but he has the opportunity to run the ball to get the first down. All right, first down. 
Well, the marker 15 yards from the spot, and the Braves, Cedric Tillman, that was a big play right there, keeping the drive going. Yeah, he got an arm on him, so I, I don't know what the crowd was screaming about for Valley, but he definitely got an arm on him. Here is Nico Duffy tripped up in the open field. Well, Valley's defense getting a little no, mojo, no, 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 getting a little no, 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 testy. As Swainier, the linebacker, came up and made the tackle. Second down and 10. No gain on the play. Six minutes left in this third quarter. Rays 24, Valley 19. This game too close for comfort if you're a Braves fan. On second and 10, Harper back to pass. Looks, throws, and it's caught. Juan Anthony with the catch. They're going to mark him short of the first down. Uh, uh, nine yard pick up third down in a yard so third and one Trey Turner in the game in the backfield on third down in a yard Demetrius Lewis I think in as a tight end here the Braves have a tight end to the right Turner in the backfield third down in a yard with five and a quarter left in the third 24-19 the Braves with the lead third and one coming up here for the Braves uh here is Turner falling forward Turner picks up the first down got a couple so it's a first down for the Braves good hard run by Trey Turner remember we're without Deshaun Waller Braves running game has not uh, had the big numbers that you would expect but they get a first down here thanks to Trey Turner. So the Brazen Valley Territory at the 45. 453 left in the third. And here's Turner again. Turner with a short pickup of two. Second down and eight. 443 left here in this third quarter. Second and eight. Four and a half minutes left in this third quarter. Nice ball control drive. They had a third and long and a third and short. Second and eight right here for the Braves. At the 43 of Valley, up 24 to 19. Here's Harper's pass, and this is a catch. A little pitch and catch on this near side, and that's why oh, Anthony. Anthony to the 40. Cedric Tillman, here's a big play here. Third down and four coming up for Alcorn. Yeah, another big down here. Um, seem to be going man-to-man -man on receivers and with a safety on top, so... Um, Maybe in the flat across the middle again. Let's see. Third down and four coming up here for the Braves. Up 24 to 19. Harper looks, throws, check down, catch. And it's a first down. It's Pringle oh. steps out of three tackles. Oh, yeah. And he's got a score. He has exceptional speed. He stepped out of three tackles. Wow. And he scored. So the Braves. Get points here on a nice catch by LaCharles Pringle, Cedric Tillman. That showed a lot of strength. He stepped out of three tackles to score. Yeah, that was a great job. Great, great job. Hold on. A 40-yard catch and run. Yep, two tackles actually were broken there. Snap back ball down by, by McCullen. The kick is good, and the Braves with the... 31 to 19 now the Braves with the lead with 346 left in the third quarter we'll take a one minute break a high scoring game here the Braves with the lead 31 to 19 we'll be, we'll be back after this one minute break this is Braves football the
All right, this ball returned from the goal line to the 10 and a big hit. Looks like a big hit put on by Mackenzie Black. Wow. 31 to 19. 340 left in the third quarter. All the Braves, this is where they've got to put their stamp on this game, Cedric Bush. 31 to 19, Valley scored, you came right back. Yeah. Now you've got to find a way to seize control of this game yet again. No doubt. Uh, we needed that bad, but it, it, the defense had to get the, had to hurry up and get them off the field. 340 left in the third quarter. Well, Valley pesky. And they go back to the run game, and the oh, Braves yeah. do a nice job here. Oh, yeah. Johnson. A host of Braves. Johnson's done a nice job there. And Dylan Taylor leading the way for the Braves. So a loss of a couple, second and 12 with 317 left. Well, Texas Southern making a game of it against Houston Baptist, 37-21, HBU at halftime mm. on second down. And go back to the run here, and for Valley, no gain. Couple of hard hits. Solomon Muhammad with the tackle. So a couple of runs that view the negative yards here, Cedric Tillman, third down and 12. Yeah, great stop, and their, their running back is hurt. Uh, yeah. it might be a cramp the way he's holding his, his leg, but... Definitely a great stop running the game. Let's let's see if we can get him off the field. Yeah, this this back for Valley, Caleb Johnson. He's just a sophomore, 5'9", 205 from Memphis, has been the, the bell cow. It looks like he's okay, walking off under his own power. All right, Cedric Bush, third and 12. Braves with a 31-19 lead. It'll be nice to get off the field here. Get off the field. Just send pressure and just see what happens. This is not Valley football here offensively, third and 12. No. They were manageable second and third downs mm -hmm. in the last drive in which they scored. They're backed up deep here, third down and 12 from their 12 yard line. Empty backfield for Bryant. Yeah. Back to pass, three step drop pass, deflected, oh. caught and dropped. <laughs> oh man, it was deflected William Morgan had the catch and dropped it so to bring up fourth down fourth down that's what you want to hear with two and a half minutes left in the third quarter fourth down so a punting situation for red with 233 left well it's good to get off the field mm -hmm. there Change return man also. <laughs> like Juan Anthony back to receive. Here's the kick. Pretty good kick. Anthony fair catch call for and falls down and makes the catch. Timeout. 225 left in the third quarter. Braves with the ball in the lead. 31 to 19. Back in a minute. This is all corn braves football. Chris Blair wide open again for the touchdown. There was coverage on him. He got open, got separation. And that's the fourth time the Braves have had an open receiver and Blair streaking down the field, got by the D 
D.B. Daniels and the Braves with a couple of quick scores and they lead 37 to 19. McCullough's PAT is good and the Braves make it 38 to 19. Cedric Tillman, how many times have Braves receivers been open tonight? It's been quite a bit as the Braves wide receivers have been wide open, Cedric Tillman, and that was a, you know, Chris Blair's been running wide open all night. Well, they're trying to step up and uh, stop the runner, John. Uh, he just ran past the quarterback in the second and was sitting down in the middle of the field. So he was running down the field wide open. Braves get a touchdown. Blair, a big night offensively. 38 to 19 with 2.12 left here in this third quarter. The locker room talk makes a difference. <laughs> he looks a little more relaxed now, Coach McNair. Yeah, that's, that's what he wants to see. Well, 2.12 left. The Braves have responded here. Now they just want to they want to finish this game off. Here is the kick. Fair catch call for it made at the five yard line. 2.12 left here in this third quarter. Well, the Braves with a 38 to 19 lead over Mississippi Valley. 2.12 left, quarter number three. Here from Jack Spinks, Marino Castle Stadium. 38 to 19, all corn. All right, let's see if the Braves can uh, get off the field defensively. It's just been you know, one of those games. Your, your offense has done their part, 38 points. Can the defense pick it up here and match the turnovers that kept Valley in it? Now here's a three-step drop pass is caught to the 35-yard line, and it's going to be a first down Mississippi Valley with the catch, Jarius Clayton, the junior, and it's a first down. So Clayton, we haven't called his name much. He's been in motion quite a bit. Clayton, the first down catch is another pass, and it's incomplete as they try to get the football to the That's big it, receiver, Wilson. Second down and 10 with 149 left in this third quarter. Alcorn 38, Valley 19. Braves with over 40 points last week, almost 40 points this week. On second down, here's Johnson on the jet sweep, cutting it back inside. Brought down at the 36-yard line, no gain. Third and 10 with 140 left in this third quarter. Braves a quarter away from... 2-0 in the oh, conference. Yeah. Third down coming up. Third down and 10. 38-19 all corn on third down. Bryant back to pass. Looks going to lob this one long and deep on the post. And this ball is overthrown <laughs> and almost... Intercepted, intended for Wilson. So to bring up fourth down with 104 left in this third quarter. Raves 38, Valley 19. So Cedric Tillman, the defense, getting off the field right there. Yeah, that's definitely what we want right now. We got the lead, so if we can pin the ears back on the defense and make those stops like that long and secondary is keeping the receivers in front of them, I think we're good. It was 21 to 13 at halftime. Back for the Braves, 16 the Braves have outscored Valley 17 to 6 in this third quarter. The snap, read on for the kick, a low kick, short kick. The Braves get away from it, and it's going to be downed at the 15 with 54 right, seconds left. So we'll take a break right here with 52 seconds left in the third. 38-19, the Braves. Yards. We'll be back after this one-minute timeout. This is, Brother, this is the Braves Sports Network.
During the break, Akeem McNair upended as he caught it out in space and was shaken up a little bit. Comes off under his own power. Here's Trey Turner with a first down run. Turner with a hard run outside the 35 to the 38. That's the best run of the night for the Braves. Maybe the best run in a couple of weeks, Cedric Chilman, for the Braves as we wind up the third quarter. Yeah, it definitely is. You know, it, and I always thought that we could run up the middle. We've been trying to run wide all night. And, you know, he did a great job of cutting that back up the middle. And that takes us to the end of the third quarter. The Braves are 15 minutes away from 2-0 in the conference in a marquee matchup with Bama State next week at Hornets Stadium. We'll take a one-minute break. We'll be right back after this. Braves with a 38-19 lead at the end of the third quarter. Back in a minute. This is Braves football. All right, welcome back as we're ready for this fourth quarter here at Jack Spinks Marino Casson Stadium. Harper looks, throws, and Radarius Anderson with the catch. And it's a first down, a gain of 13. So Radarius Anderson, good to see Radarius Anderson, Cedric Tillman, get back on the field. Yeah, it sure is. We definitely missed him in the last couple of weeks here. And, uh, Great to see him uh, get a catch there. All right, first down for the Braves. Right to left here in this fourth quarter. Quarter away from 2-0 and in the league and getting ready for Bama State. Here is a pass. Here is Anderson with the catch inside the 30, inside the 20, down to the 14. He dragged two Delta Devils with him. First down for the, Del for the Braves, Andrew Bloodshaw with the tackle. So the Braves at the 14-yard line. Hard snap count. And here is Trey Turner. Runs into his own lineman and goes down. He ran into Joseph Milburn, who was out in space. No gain, second down and 10. Like it was there, Cedric Bush. Milburn. <laughs> that was the best tackle of the night. <laughs> yeah. No gain, second no gain. down and 10 from the 14-yard line. Braves in this game are up 38 to 19 over Mississippi Valley. Second down and 10. Minute 11 into this fourth quarter. Nico Duffy in the backfield to the right of Felix Harper. Three receivers, two left, one right. Second and 10. And here's a pass, and it's caught. Nice floating pass, and progress stopped as Tim McNair Jr. right at the sticks. Close to the first down, but I think he's short. Second down, and well, let's see if they, no, they dropped the sticks. It's a first down. So first and goal from the four. Harper. To Duffy, and he slipped on his cut. A loss back to the six, second down and goal. Two minutes into this fourth quarter. Here from Jack Spinks, Marino Castle Stadium. Braves up 38 to 19. Trying to basically put this game away here with a touchdown. Into the fourth quarter, Braves. Playing smart, using some clock here. Second down and goal from the six. 
Harper back to pass. Rolling looks, throws high. It's caught and dropped by Tim McNair Jr. Almost had it. That was a nice floating pass right there. Third down coming up. Here in this fourth quarter, two and a half minutes in. A&M over Central State, 49 to 14. Go figure. Wow. And I said Alabama <laughs> A&M would show up. They play better on the road. I've said that, and that's been the case for years. We spoiled two of A&M's homecomings. Yeah. Third down and goal from the six. Harper back to pass. Looks, 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 looks. Being chased, and down he goes. Ball is loose, it appears. Or did Harper just go down? I think Harper just went down. Valley says the ball did come loose. And Valley has, has it. it. The fifth fumble by the Braves, and they've lost them all. Wow. You only have three seconds to have that ball. Three seconds you got to do so. We can throw it away or take off. I'll we'll have to look at it here and see. Harper had a good pocket, it looked like. Stepped up. Oh, yeah, had it stripped. Yeah. Had it stripped. Valley's got it. It looked like uh, the Delta Devils' Jalen Bell, the freshman from Detroit, uh, has gotten that fumble. Well, that's the one thing that will stick in Fred McNair's crawl. It's too many turnovers. Five fumbles, Cedric Tillman. We've lost them all. Yeah, I was hoping we could punch that in right there, but um, he was trying to go to the air. And, uh, just, just fell short, but yeah, Phoenix did lose that uh, football. I thought we recovered it, but Valley got it. Yeah, Bell recovered inside the ten. Now here's a pass deflected, incomplete. Valley trying to stretch the field. Intended for Wilson, second down with 12:14 left. That's the one thing we've got to clean up. I mean, you're looking at. Alabama State next week. I mean, clearly, we got to cut down on turnovers. Alabama State's a team that's opportunistic. It looks like looking at studying them this week. Defensively, they held Grambling to 23 points. Grambling tonight, even though they lost to Prairie View. We'll talk about that in a moment. Here's a check down, and it's a catch by Clayton. Clayton tackled immediately. A three or four yard pickup. Third down and seven coming up. I mean, Grambling scored 36 points tonight after scoring 20 against Bama State last week. So, Bama State's defense is stingy. And, you know, it's been a tussle over there in Montgomery two years ago. You know, we're up 24-7. to Bama State gets a field goal in the fourth quarter. They're marching down the field. And their coach, Coach Jenkins, gets a, a sportsman light, took them out of field goal range. And the Braves uh, took them out of the game on third down. Here's a pass high and complete. On a high pass intended for Kidd. And it'll bring up fourth down. And Kidd is shaken up. Boy, he extended himself. Marcus Kidd, the intended target. And he is shaken up. Eleven and a half minutes left. Well, I'd like to see that again just to see how Kid just extended himself. Marcus Kidd, the 6'4 junior from Crete, Illinois. And he's shaking up. We'll take a break right here with 11.30 left. 38-19 Alcorn. Back in one minute. This is Brace Football. Cedric, we're definitely going to talk to uh, Chris Blair after the game. That's definite. We, we know that for sure. Chris Blair, post-game.
Marcus Kidd got off under his own power. The snap and the kick. And the Braves get away from it. Anthony went in and got away from it. Downed at the 39. 11-19 left. And we'll take another break as the Braves have the ball and a 19-point lead. We'll be back after this one-minute timeout on the Alcorn Football Radio Network. Nico Duffy, a couple of carries for 11 yards. And the Braves have it at midfield here in the fourth quarter. Cedric Bush, 10.40 to go in control of the game of 38 to 19. Just you would like to see a good drive here. No penalties, no turnovers. Take two, three minutes off this clock. That's it. I'm impressed with this, this backup offensive line. They've done a great job for the past couple of weeks. Here's Pringle. Stepped out on one tackle, but is dropped for a yard loss. And with the tackle, the, uh, tackle by Daniels. I tell you what, this Valley defense, Cedric Chilman. I mean, we've they've we've had some open receivers, but this Valley defense, they fly around. Yeah, it definitely has. They, they play pretty solid, you know. Um, I, I think they just uh, that last series they was walking the safeties up, going man on the corners is what got them burnt the last series. Second down. I mean, they'll they'll get better. Obviously, a young team. Harper play action. Looks going to throw this one long and deep, and this ball's incomplete. Now on the far sideline, intended for Tim McNair, Jr. All right, Cedric Tillman, back to you. We're behind the chains. Haven't said that in a while, third and 12. Yeah, I, I thought we was doing a great job running the ball, and we got away from it there, so uh, let's see if we can pick it up. Yeah, third and 12. Of course, going into this game, no Noah Johnson, no Waller, no Bolton. And it's Peyton not dressed. Alec Bailey, one of the tight ends. Jeremiah Green. You defensive players didn't dress out tonight. So this Braves team definitely has some, you know, as they say, aches and bobos. Mm -hmm. and we'll see if Noah Johnson will be ready for next uh, week in Bama State. On third down, here is a draw. Bolton. Bolton keeping his legs going, and it's a first down. Hard run. That is awesome. Four charge, I'm sorry, it's Trey Turner. Trey Turner. Trey Turner, I'm sorry, with the carry. I've been calling Bolton's name, and Trey Turner with the first down run. That was a big play there. So the Braves at the 38, and here's Turner here, and a gain of a couple. That was a huge play right there. Trey Turner. You know, without you know, without Waller and Bolton, Trey Turner, Cedric Kelman, uh, making it happen. Yeah, that's what I like to see. I, I like to see the Braves running the football, and uh, I think the offensive line is waking up there, trying to make some holes for them. And I think Valley's defense just looks worn down. 8:48 left here, Cedric Bush. You can tell. Yeah, they they subbed in numbers we hadn't seen all night. <laughs> They're trying to get a breather now. Second down and nine. And here's Turner again to the 30. We're going to bring up third down and three for the Braves with eight and a half minutes left. 56-14, Alabama A&M over Central State. Houston Baptist 44, Texas Southern 21. Jaguars over UAPB 21-7. Fourth quarter underway there. Finals, Kentucky State over Jackson State 33-25. And Preview over Grambling 42-36. Second year in a row, the Panthers have beaten the Grambling Tigers. On third down, here's Turner again, and he's tripped up right at the marker. He may be a hair short of the first down. It's going to be close. They might measure this here. At least they should measure it, and I think they will. Yep. I think we 
I think they're giving Valley a breather on this one. <laughs> Those guys up front, they're moving. I have no doubt about it. They're going to bring out the chains here. And they'll measure this. With the first and 10 from the 27 or fourth and one from the 27. I'll stretch out the chains, and he is short by the nose of the nose football. Of the What's Fred McNair going to do, Cedric Tillman? I say go for it. Fred McNair standing stoically, arms folded. Does he want to go for it? Three yards yeah, out there. Does. The offense is staying out there, yeah, so fourth yeah. down. <laughs> I've gotten three, I should get one. Fourth down and two inches. Valley cheating in on the corners on fourth down. Here's Turner plowing ahead. He's got the first down. Got a yard. That's power football right there. First down, Trey Turner. All right, so first down at the 27-yard line. Braves have it with seven and a half minutes left, halfway through the fourth quarter. Braves 38, Valley 19. Braves in control of this one here. I think Fred McNair just wants to see execution That's at this it. point. That's it. First down at the 27. Finish strong. Here's Nico Duffy. Yeah, Duffy yeah, with a good hard run of five. 7 13 yeah, left. Yeah. <laughs> Those offensive linemen, they love it. They love it. This is their game. They love it. <laughs> and Nico Duffy's been. You know, Cedric, talk, Cedric Tillman, talk about the running game here. I mean, we, we've had our little bit better of a running game today, but the last couple of weeks we're averaging about three yards per carry. Yeah, I think that has to do with execution up front, you know. Uh, a lot of teams are coming down in a box on Felix Hopper, and, and that's why you see uh, a lot of those long passes he's throwing you know, because uh, they're going one-on-one on receivers. They're daring him to throw the football. They're oh, yeah. trying to stop the run. Yeah, second down and five. On second down, here's Duffy straight ahead. Duffy first down at the 13-yard line. Well, the Braves trying to put the bow on the present here. With 6.15 left. I mean, this is 24 to 19 at one point in this game. Yeah. You know, Valley... They say this is their state championship game, and Valley, for the most part, played like it was. And I think clearly they have a quarterback who can manage the game. They've got some hefty running backs. I think they had some receivers that were making plays, just Brian getting it to them. First down from the 13-yard line with 546 left. On first down, here is Nico Duffy. Duffy to the 11, picks up about a yard. Next week, we'll be at Hornets Stadium in Montgomery, where Alabama State came in here last year and what a game that took all night. And they won it. <laughs> and uh, Alabama State's kind of given us trouble. Yeah. You know, like I said earlier, two years ago, we were up 24 to 7. Alabama State kicks a field goal in the late in the third quarter. It's 24 to 10. They're marching down the field. And uh, they get a holding penalty and an unsportsmanlike on their head coach that took them out of field goal range. Got no points out of that drive, and the Braves just kind of melted the clock away. But Bama State's been uh, been tough on us. And that'll probably that'll be the game of the week next week. Here's Trey Turner inside the ten to the nine with 4:47 left. Third down coming up. Third down and a long five. And Cedric Tillman, out of all the games, you know, Jackson State will be in conference starting next week. A&M's winning big, and I think the game next week, clearly all corn at Bama State at Hornet Stadium. Yes, definitely a big game in the East, man. We, we got to come up big. No, ex, you know, no turnovers. You know, we got to execute next week. We got to play a lot better than what we did tonight. And we'll see what Fred McNair has to say about it. You know, the scary part is they won a big game, talking about Bama State at home. They're off this week, and then at home next week. So, you I mean, you're talking about a good streak at home to get healthy and to get a lot done. Harper pump fakes throws, and it's caught, and it's going to be a touchdown. <laughs> touchdown, Pringle. 
Pringle from eight yards out. With 3.57 left. And the Braves well over 40 points last week. Over 40 points today. Point number 44. Touchdown by Pringle. And McCullough trying to put point number 45 on the board here with 3.57 left in the fourth. 44 to 19. I think the one issue, obviously, the turnovers. We have five fumbles, lost all five. I think that's the, the one thing to talk about. Snap back ball down, and the kick is good by McCullough. Braves with a 45 to 19 lead. It was 24 to 19 at one point, so the Braves with 21 answered. 357 left. Back in a minute, Braves 45 and Valley 19. We'll be back in a minute on the Alcorn Football Radio Network. Forty-five to nineteen, the Braves with a good offensive output. Chris Blair with a big game, and we'll talk with him on the post-game show. And hopefully, head coach Fred McNair. All the Braves were offsides. So Valley will have the football at the thirty-yard line. Three fifty-seven left as we update the SWAC scoreboard. Alabama A&M 56, Central State 14, Southern leads UAPB 21-7 in the fourth quarter. 51-21 Houston Baptist over Texas Southern. Earlier, Jackson State loses to Kentucky State 33-25. And Prairie View for the second year in a row beats Grambling 42-36. Well, first down, I think Grambling's got a lot of work to do. I think offensively, I mean, Prairie View's defense... You know, they're going to give you a lot here. The pass incomplete thrown behind Wilson, second down and 10. I thought maybe Grambling's defense, you know, after holding Louisiana Tech to 20 points, you hold Bama State to 23, but it just shows you how good this Prairie View offense is. And, you know, they gave up 36 points tonight, did Prairie View. But their offense, another big night on second down. There's a pass caught. And it's going to be a first down, a first down catch and run by Malik Myers, the wide receiver. So first down for the Delta Devils. They move the football with 336 left here in this fourth quarter. 45-19, the Braves pass on the edge, caught, and a one-yard pickup. That pass with the, the catch. First on the down. Valley will return home. They'll play Virginia Lynchburg at home next week. Then they go to UAPB, and they got four in a row at home. Jackson, Texas Southern, Bama State, and Grambling all at home at Bryce Totten. So that'll be interesting. And there's Brian on the run. Brian falling forward, gets to the 46-yard line, three yards short of the first down. 2.53 left in this fourth quarter. Third and three for Valley. Well, we hope to talk to Chris Blair on the post game show. Third down and three. Bryant on the stretch play will keep it. Bryant with the first down inside the 40 to the 38 yard line. First down at the 38. Two and a quarter left. <laughs> First down, I am back to pass. It's going to take off here. He's 35, slides down. So if you go back to 
the McNeese game. Felix Harper leads his team down the field the last four minutes with two touchdowns. 45 points against Prairie View, 45 points against Valley. I think we own this up. In the last 10 quarters. <laughs> I think we're on to something. Well, make it nine quarters. Nine quarters. I, I saw him last week. I just said, a star is born. I'm, I'm being honest. The kid has everything. All the tangibles to be that that, that great quarterback here at Auckland State Clayton University. Clayton with the catch. And, yeah, I mean, Felix Harper's going to get the keys to the car. Yeah. Maybe a little bit earlier than, uh, than, than expected. Yeah. You know, you, you, you get the keys to the car, you get the driver's permit, then you get the driver's <laughs> license, and then you can drive it. So I think he's passed the the, the permit test, oh, something yeah. that I couldn't do. Yeah, well, he, you know, he has his guys in the back seat with him, too, those receivers today, man. They put on they put on the show today. They put on the show today. Yeah, Cedric Tillman, what about the play of Felix Harper here? A lot of people talking about what he's done, and we talked to him on the pregame show, just thankful for the opportunity and just continuing to get better week by week. Yeah, he stepped up big, man. You know, everybody had that question mark, you know. Uh, could he do it? You know, he showed he could do it last week. And uh, he stepped up big and continued to step up big tonight. Yep, and uh, Chris Blair stepped up big, second down. We've been waiting really for Blair a huge game. And, and this is a catch on this near side and a big hit by John Derrick Smith. We haven't called his name since the first quarter. So under a minute left, let's see, if, let's see if the Braves can keep Valley off the board here. Valley not in that big of a hurry. And the Delta Devils will have all three of their timeouts. 45 to 19 on third down. Brian with the keeper to the 15 to the 10 slides down at the six. So first and goal here for Mississippi Valley with 37 seconds left here in this fourth quarter. 45 19, the Braves with the lead. And Valley going quick here on first down. Here's a high fade one-on-one -on -one coverage, and it's incomplete. There's a flag down <laughs> half the distance. Get the flag and not the touchdown. Yeah, there's a clear penalty right there. And it looks like it's on, uh, I want to say, Wilson. Let's check it. It's going to be on the Braves. Oh, not on Wilson. Allen Bruce. Allen Bruce. So 25 seconds left. Well, Valley has the football at the one yard line. So first down and goal with 25 seconds left, 45 to 19. There's a fade one on one, and it's going to be incomplete. Out Caught out of bounds. Valley, I guess, tried to catch the Braves that time. Pass intended for Johnny Wilson. Second down with 19 seconds left. Cedric Tillman will be nice to keep him off the board here. Yeah, definitely. Keep, keep him um, out of the end zone here in this football game. Second down coming up. Braves with a 45 to 19 lead with 19 seconds left here in this fourth quarter. It's game two hours and 40 minutes. On second down, they run the football here, and they do not get in. And Brian with the keeper with 10 seconds left. I mean, Valley's got their timeouts, and they're not using them here. Five seconds left, four. Threes will be the final play. On third down, Brian looks, throws a fade, and this ball is incomplete. Ball game. And that should do it. That's it. And that's the ball game. And the Braves win 45 to 19. Braves 2 and 0 in the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Well, Valley gave us all we wanted no, for the most part. It was 24 to 19. And the Braves with 21 unanswered to win it 45 to 19. So we'll take a break here. We'll set the stage for the post game show. Chris Blair, big game. We'll talk about that. And we'll talk to Chris Blair coming up after this one minute timeout. 45 19, your final. Back in a minute. This is Braves football. Tell me. What's up? Thank you for your cooperation. 
And tonight's collision of the game brought to you by a law, Dr. Charlie Bridges, at Bridges Urology of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay. Braves led this game 21 to 13 at halftime, and it was 24 to 19 at one point in this game. The Braves with 21 unanswered and pulled away. Chris Blair, a huge game, and uh, we hope to talk to Chris Blair coming up here on the post-game show. Of course, Braves head football coach Fred McNair. We hope will give us some uh, comments here as the Braves turned it on and got some offense the one glaring stat the five fumbles and valley cashed in on a couple of those so that's something that we'll definitely have to clean up going forward especially next week as the braves head to montgomery for a two o'clock kickoff as they take on alabama state probably one of the few times that we played alabama state in an afternoon game at hornet stadium and the Hornets be grambling last week off this week, and we head there next week. As the Braves win by the final score of 24 to 19. And I believe Cedric Tillman is uh, standing by. Uh, that's Braves win by the final score of 24 to 19. Let's check in Cedric Tillman with Chris Blair. All right, uh, big game out here tonight. The last couple of weeks, we were looking for you to, uh, to step up and come out, but tonight you had a big game tonight. Um, just tried to stay patient. Uh, I knew my time would eventually.